In this video, we are going to practice finding outliers. Now, you've probably learned in the past how to eyeball outliers, but when you're actually calculating whether a value is an outlier, there's a specific rule that you have to follow. The rule states that a value is an outlier if it is 1.5 times either above or below the mean. If you take a look at this set of nine data values here, I've already calculated the mean for you. It is 61.6 repeating. If you did not know what the mean was, looking at the status set, you might reasonably assume that 90 is an outlier. If you look at most of the data, it's between 50 and 70. The majority of the data is in the 50s. There's only a few values above it. 90 on a first eyeball glance looks like it could potentially be an outlier. If you apply the actual outlier rule and look at it though, you know that your mean is 61.6, so if you're trying to find outliers above and below, you're going to do 61.6 times 1.5. 92.4 above that would be considered an outlier. So even though 90 appears as though it's an outlier in this data set, according to the outlier rule, it's actually not. If you wanted to check any values below 61.6, you would type in 61.6 times 0.5. You would just leave off the 1. Any values below 30.8 in this data set would be considered an outlier. Now, if I was to choose to add another value to this set, let's say I choose to add 110. Now I have 10 data values. If I was to sum all of my data values up, I get 665. There were 9. Now there's 10. So my new mean is now 66.5. If I was to apply my outlier rule now, 66 times 1.5 is 99.75. 110 would be considered an outlier. So in order to determine whether it is exactly an outlier, you have to use your 1.5 rule.